Welcome to a video from Site Tech Inner Mountain. In this video, we're going to cover Earthworks Dozer Horizontal Steering and Control. In the dozer with auto steer, we've got these options over here on the side right here. In order to turn it on, you've got to go into the shovel and gear here. You can see that there is an option down here for steering control. If we go in here and actually turn it on, we can change how aggressive and actually adjust, make those as presets. But right here for steering arm, go ahead and turn on steering arm. And then the button on the left side to uh, turn it on actually wants us to press button on the steering control to accept or the button below to decline. So we'll go ahead and hit that button on the left side. So now you can see I've got up and down for vertical autos and I've got pitch for autos and I've got one in the middle here and this outer range limit right here is telling me that I'm out of range for a line that I want to split. So this one right here, if I touch on my horizontal, I've got, if I go to none selected, I don't get that on the screen right there. I'm just off design because I'm not actually in that design. What we'll do is go ahead and move the dozer over to that cul-de-sac right there. We'll change this one to plan view. So we're looking down on the cul-de-sac, the design, and we'll leave this one on 3D. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut the curb line. I'm gonna cut it from the outside, but then I'm gonna cut it from the inside. So yeah, we're off design because I need to switch that to the right side. Once we get inside the design right here, I'm gonna leave offline on also. I'm gonna turn off, uh, I'm gonna bring in over here. Elevation just so that it puts cup to left, cup to right. So you can select that line two different ways. One, you can go and select it by touching and holding on inside the actual horizontal offset, or you can touch and hold on it right here. And it may ask you, hey, choose line. There may be a couple ones in there. You can actually pick which one you want. So if that's not the right one, you can go back and hit the second one. It's basically the same line, so I'm gonna use it for guidance. As soon as I've got that set, you can see when I come back to my machine, what side of the blade I want it to actually follow, right? So when the autos, when the turn on the horizontal steer, it's going to follow the red carrot. So if I do want to leave that on the outside, you can see right now that I'm 710 away from it. If I put in gear and turn on the button over here for auto, for the auto steer, I'm not going to touch anything. And as soon as I start moving, you'll see right here where it has the auto. It will now turn to green. My hands are not touching anything. Dozer goes ahead and turns and starts orienting to that line. So this, this turn right here, it's mostly useful when the line itself has a nice curve to it. You can watch this off line right here as it comes around the corner. It'll start making that right turn, hands are off. You can rotate the blade also, and it will also adjust for that. So you can see I rotate the blade to the right. If I rotate it to the left, it will actually keep the corner of the blade, the corner tip, right on that red line. Also turn on the autos for the, the blade up and down. I was just letting them hover there. Still not touching any controls. These need to be nice curved lines in order for it to follow it. Um, I'll show you in another video the steering system error warning me that it's off just a little bit but you can see as I come around the corner it still makes the correction 
do is off just a hair. You can manually take over. If it's got a 90 or any sort of a point bend to it, it's going to automatically come off that line. So you can see we went around the outside just fine. Now what we'll do is turn off the auto there and the auto off there, and we will do the inside of that line. Go back and do it the same way. We'll control that line. Same thing, we don't have to be on it, I'll show you. If I'm actually off like this, and then simply turn on autos and let off, I'm gonna just turn the, the gear down. You can see how it automatically came back to that line all by itself. Now this is the inside of that cul-de-sac. on the autos for everything else. Now this is just following the line as a zero. So if I go ahead and stop, I can go in here and put in an offset still. Let's say the curb guys actually want three feet behind that. We'll put a three and just keep in mind, you pay attention to which way. The arrows are going that way and that blue line was my original, so I'm going to swap it because I want to cut three feet behind it. We'll go ahead and hit apply. Now you can see that I've got a line out there. I'm 290 away from it. I'm going to just engage, auto steer again, let off, and I'm going to go for it. So it's going to auto correct over to it and then it'll start turning on. See how it got back online? So now I'm cutting three feet behind that curb. Let me show you one more view. I'll change this one to uh, cross section. So now as we zoom in, the blue line was the blue that was the original TVC or that line in general. The red line is the one that it's following now. So manual for that again. Hands off. And if in the middle of it, I hit that one and change that back to zero, without me even having to rechange that or touching anything, now it came back to that original line. Thank you for watching this video from SightTech Intermountain on Earthworks Dozer Horizontal Steering Control.